Hi, I'm Brittany Allen and welcome to Savor the Flavors. From time to time I get asked to review a product and it's something I always enjoy because it makes me aware of things in the supermarket that I might otherwise miss. And I especially like it when I can incorporate it into a recipe of my own and then share it with you. And such is the case today. I'm going to be reviewing the Holy Wholesome Organic Pie Dough and we'll learn more about that as we make my chicken pot pie. We're gonna start our pot pie by making the filling. I already have things underway. I've got a tablespoon of butter and also one and a half teaspoons of olive oil heating in my pot. To that, I'm going to add one medium baking or russet potato that I have peeled and diced. Here I have one third cup of diced carrot, a half cup of diced celery, and also three fourths cup of diced onion. And we're just going to saute this. I've got this going over medium heat and we're going to saute it just until those veggies are nice and tender and you can get a toothpick into the potatoes and carrots very easily. And that takes about 10 to 12 minutes. While that's going on, we're going to work on our pie crust. And for that, we're going to use the Holy Wholesome pie dough. Incidentally, you'll find this in the freezer section of your grocery store. So you'll need to take it out and thaw it for about three hours at room temperature before you use them. Now, what I like about that is that there's two crusts in here. I am making a two crust pie. But if you wanted to just make a one crust pie, of course, you could just keep the other in the freezer because they're individually wrapped. We're just going to cut this open here. Let's see if we can get this to slide out. Looks good. One thing I'm noticing here is that the pie dough is sort of wrapped in plastic wrap or rolled in plastic wrap, which I like that because it doesn't stick to itself, which is a nice feature. And we'll just sort of take that. I'm going to set that in my pie plate and then just sort of take it and push it into the corners and sort of gently work it up the sides of the pie plate so that when I top it with my other crust, the two crusts will meet and I'll be able to seal them. Now, a few things about Holy Wholesome and the Holy Wholesome Organic Pie Dough. Of course, it is organic, and that means that all of the ingredients to make the pie dough are organic, and they use organic wheat flour, organic rice flour, sea salt. Also, what I thought was interesting is they're using organic palm oil or organic palm shortening. And what's interesting about that is that when you make a pie crust, you need to use some sort of a solid shortening so that you get that flakiness. And palm shortening in its natural state is semi-solid, so there's no hydrogenation process going on here, and therefore no trans fats. Also, there's no preservatives, additives, colorings, flavorings, anything like that that's artificial, everything natural. And this pie crust or the pie dough is suitable for a vegan diet. However, this recipe isn't, but the pie dough is. As you can see, I've worked it up the sides. That's perfect. It will meet my other crust very nicely. I'm gonna go over here and check on our veggies. Give them a little stir. And of course, it looks like they're going to need some more time. So we're just gonna let them saute until they're nice and tender.
Okay, I have put our filling into our pie pan and it's looking wonderful. Now we're just going to take our other crust here and unroll it. I love how easily that comes undone. It's perfect. And we're just going to set this on the top, just like this, kind of cover it up. And we're gonna stretch it just a little bit to the edges to make sure that those edges meet the other crust and we'll seal it nicely. And you can kind of push down on it just a little bit. One thing I wanted to point out, um, just because this is a review on the Holy Wholesome Organic Pie Dough, was that there was a difference in price point from the normal pie um, dough that I would use, the refrigerated brand, to this. This was almost, again, as expensive, so almost double the price. However, if you're concerned with a uh, organic diet and eating organic ingredients, that is a choice and it may be one that is worth the extra money. This product I do find is very easy to work with. Now, I'm just kind of doing a decorative edge. You could sort of just kind of take a fork to the edges and hash it or just kind of do a decorative edge like I'm doing. Just sort of take your two fingers and press your other finger in between them and you get this little pretty fluted edge. Okay, I've got my edges all finished, all fluted, and then what you want to do is take a knife and make slits in the top of the pie because you want the steam to be able to escape while it's cooking. Now, you can do whatever design you like. I actually do what my mother does, which is what my grandmother, Eleanor Wire, did. She would always kind of do this leaf pattern or almost like a feather pattern on the top with her knife. And so every time I make a pie, I think of her. And I think that makes it taste just a little bit better. Okay, just like that. Make sure you have some nice slits. And then to finish it, I've got one egg here that I've whisked and two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream. We'll just put that in there. And we're just gonna do an egg wash on top of the pie because that will make that crust get nice and golden. Now I've got my oven preheated to 375 degrees and I'm going to bake it for about 40 to 45 minutes. As you can see, our pie turned out beautifully, nice and golden brown. What we're gonna do is just take our knife and kind of go around the edge here of our pie. To me, this serves for, of course, if you wanna make smaller portions, you can, but it tastes so good you won't want to. So I just kind of like eyeball it and start in the center and just kind of cut it in fourths. And make sure and cut all the way through to that bottom crust. And the edges like that. Go one more time over here. It's still steaming, trust me, you're gonna like that. Now the first piece is always a little weird trying to get it out, so let's hope that it goes well today and looks pretty doesn't break up too much. All of those veggies are in there and sort of spilling out. And then sometimes I like to take just a little bit more of the veggies because it's so nice and hot and spoon them on the plate around the pie. And if you want, you can take your towel because it should look pretty, right? And just sort of clean the edges of your plate. And then I like to top it with a little bit of flat leaf parsley, just like that. Beautiful. Now, I think, of course, we should taste it, but I'm gonna need a fork. Let me get one here. Let's see. Gotta make sure and get some of that crust. All of those other goodies, the chicken, the potatoes, the peas, carrots, beans, love it. Mmm. It is so yummy, so flavorful, very well seasoned. The pie crust, nice and flaky, just like you want it. Next time you want to make a chicken pot pie, or maybe after Thanksgiving, make it a turkey pot pie, you'll want to try the Holy Wholesome Pie Dough. I'm very, very pleased with that. 
and savor the flavors of my chicken pot pie. That recipe is available on my website, savortheflavors.tv.